Common Council meeting to address the snow plan this afternoon in Buffalo. Danielle Church has the details for us now. So Danielle, what was the biggest takeaway from this? Well, Kate, this weekend will be the first time this snow plan is put to the test, including a new feature, a GPS system. And common council members are really hoping this will help to fix a lot of the communication issues between both the city and its residents that they saw last year. Now, every plow will have a GPS on it. That's again new this year and Buffalonians will be able to check which which streets are already plowed. You will be able to check online at Buffalo NY dot gov slash snow fleet, but it will not tell you what streets will be soon plowed uh, just or if they haven't been. So Danielle, I understand that also one of the things that they want to do here is be ready to bring in people from the outside if need be. Uh, yes, Kate, they are. The city has budgeted about $260,000 in order to uh, get and an outside contractor to help plow the streets if need be. And uh, Common Council President Darius Pridgen says uh, one of the things that does need to be fixed is the city's 311 number. That's the number you would call if your street has not been plowed. Now he says that the um, uh, parking commissioner is working to get those fixed. He didn't specify exactly how the parking commissioner is going to do so, but uh, we can keep you updated in the future on that. I know, Danielle, that last year one of the big problems was parked cars that were not moved, plows couldn't get down streets, people were stuck. What's the city going to do about that this time around? Well, Kate, during the last couple of years, the city eased up on both ticketing and towing. The mayor says that will not be the case this winter. So uh, a warning if you live on a street with alternate parking, the rules are in place starting today. If you don't have a place to put your car, the city has set up parking lots in each district. And as we told you last night, there are some free parking lots that you can park in only during snow emergency events. We have a link to the city snow plan, which lists all of those parking lots on our website at WGRZ.com. Kate. All right, Danielle Church reporting for us. Danielle, thank you.